Hi there, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing me as your teacher. In today's video, I am going to teach you English through a story. You and I are going to read about TVs and then after that, you are going to answer a couple of comprehension questions. And of course, if there are any things that are not very clear, leave a comment and I will make sure I will explain that to you. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Okay, so let me explain how this lesson is gonna go. First of all, I'm going to be reading. I'll explain some words. And then after that, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. Okay? So let's get started with the first one. Televisions show sounds and pictures. They get data from cables, discs, or over-the-air signals. They turn this data into sounds and images. People watch news and shows on them. You probably call them TVs. John Baird made the first TV in 1925. It had one color. It could only show 30 lines. This was just enough room for a face. It didn't work well, but it was a start. So here, first of all, I'd like to explain to you some words. Cables are things that are similar to this. This is a cable, yeah? And we have data that is information that is changed into sounds sounds, things that you can hear, and images. This was just enough room for a face. Enough room, this is not room like bedroom or living room or where you usually sleep, but this when we are talking about space. For example, come and sit here. See, there's enough room for you. There's enough space for you. The first TV station was set up in 1928. It was in New York. Few people had TVs. The broadcasts were not meant to be watched. They showed a Felix the Cat doll for two hours a day. The dolls spun around on a record player. They were experimenting. It took many years to get it right. So here, when we are using the verb set up, means built. It was built together. And here you can see the doll spun around on a record. Spun is the simple past of the verb to spin. And when you spin, this, we, that was not spinning. <laughs> Let me try this again, spin. Okay, so spin. When something spins, it means it turns around quickly. Okay, which was not true about the first TV? It could only show one color. It only had 30 lines. It did not have sound. It did not work well. Now here, our key word is the first TV. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna find it here. So here is the information about it. So it was made in 1925. It had one color. It could only show 30 lines. This was just enough room for a face. It didn't work well. So, which was not true? Exactly. So the correct answer here is C. There was no mention of the sound. Why did it show Felix the cat for hours? Again, here, my keyword is Felix the cat. So let's go back and check. So one great technique to read is to actually start reading from right to left, right to left, until I find the word Felix the cat. Oh, here it is. 
the information needs to be here. So I'm going to start reading. They showed a Felix, the cat doll, for two hours a day. The doll spun around on a record player. They were experimenting. It took many years to get it right. Okay. So, why did they show Felix the cat only? Good. This is our answer. They did that because they were experimenting. Let's continue reading. By the end of the 1930s, TVs were working well. America got its first taste at the 1939 World's Fair. A fair is a place where brands bring their products and they try to network, meet other people who also have maybe similar brands or potential customers and so on. This was one of the biggest events ever. There were 200 small black and white TVs set up around the fair. Okay, so there were built TVs there. The US president gave a speech over the TVs. Ooh, so when you give a speech, the word is to speak. And when there, when there is an important person talking about something important, that is called a speech. The president gives a speech. The TVs were only five inches big, but the people loved it. One inch, this is a measurement unit in the US. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. So here, more or less, we have TVs that are 12 centimeters big, super tiny TVs. They wanted TVs. But World War II was going on during this time. Factories were busy making guns and bombs. When the war was over, TV spread across the country. So World War II, you know, a war when two countries are fighting. And for that, factories like big building where people produce and make stuff, they were busy making guns and bombs. Bomb. Guys, look at this. This is very important. The B is silent. Bombs. When the war was over, no more war, TV spread across the country. When something spreads, it means it becomes popular, everybody got it. Like for example, COVID spread. So it was everywhere. Yeah? By 1948, there were four big networks in America. They aired their shows from 8 to 11 each night. Local shows were aired at other times. Most of the time, nothing was shown at all. TV was not always on like it is now. Now this word, to air a show, is not the air we breathe, but this is a verb, it's to air. It means a program or a show is shown on TV. It's on TV, it's aired on TV. So the TV was not always on. There were only a couple of hours a day where you could actually watch TV. Let's continue. When were TV shows aired? In the morning? On Sundays? In the afternoon? At night? So, in the morning? On Sundays? in the afternoon, at night. Good. The correct answer is at night. Next question. 
which of these events slowed the spread of TVs? So slowed TVs becoming something normal everywhere in every house. The World's Fair of 1939, the Civil War, the election of the US president, World War II. Okay, let's check. Mm -hmm. Good, so the event is World War II because it was going on and factories were busy making guns, not TVs. So the correct answer is D. World War II. Good. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. In my next video, I am testing your listening skills. Let's see if you can understand native speakers. And by the way, if you enjoyed today's reading, let me know in the comment section below and I will make more of these videos. By the way, reading is super useful for you as it's a great way for you to improve, first of all, your vocabulary and especially spelling when you see the words written and when you hear me saying them so you can connect them. Second, it's a very good activity to check your comprehension. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to make more. Take care. Watch my next video here.